my name is Katherine Gao. I'm a rising senior at the University of Pennsylvania and the organization that I'm representing is Givology. So Givology is an education nonprofit founded by Penn students uh, in spring 2008 and what we do is we partner with grassroots NGOs in developing countries who work with um, students and schools in need. Um, so basically on Givology you can go to the Give Now button and then browse student profiles or project profiles. So here we can go to Jimmy Cabriza and I'll click on his profile and I notice that you know he's um, he's already been given $135 out of the $200 that he's requested and you can see the allocation of the $200. To give what you do is you add money to your account and so I go into my account and then I can you know, donate to Jimmy. My name is Jason Halpern. I'm working on the Power Flower, a portable solar generator for farmers. And what does that mean? Well, it's like your typical solar panel, but different in a couple of key ways. So the Power Flower uh, is a, is, like I said, it's portable. And what does that mean? Uh, it means that when it's not in use, it gets very small and very easy to move. So it goes ahead uh, and folds up when not in use. This allows farmers to move it around their field very, very easily and very quickly and deploy it exactly where they need it. When it opens up in the day, daytime, it's going to start to generate electricity by reflecting sunlight off of these petals here. So these petals are very, very large mirrors. And the mirrors reflect sunlight onto very small solar cells located up here at the top of the device. This is a technology known as concentrated photovoltaics, and we're using that technology to make a solar device that really fits the needs of the farmers. Hi, uh, my name is Ben Gulak. I'm here to present two of my projects. One of them is the DTV Shredder, which is this really cool new all-terrain vehicle. And the other is the UNO, which is this new type of urban commuter. It's an electric unicycle that actually transforms into a full-size motorcycle while it's moving. So on the left-hand side, this is the UNO in unicycle mode, and this is the UNO in motorcycle mode. When it hits 12 miles an hour, the middle wheel, this one, rolls forward, and the outer two wheels slide backward, pull in together, and lock to form one tire. And it turns into a full-size street bike. The other project I'm doing is the DTV Shredder, which is this new kind of all-terrain vehicle. It's essentially it's a combination of a motocross bike, an ATV, and a snowmobile, and combines them into a, sink, into a tracked vehicle, which you can stand on just like a skateboard, and lets the rider you retake on sand, snow, mud, up the side of mountains. I mean, it's literally completely all-terrain all year round. My name is Dani Aratai, and uh, my product, or our product, is called Leonardo. It's about to uh, make a virtual reality, a full virtual reality environment on a standard uh, home computer. And uh, you can imagine that uh, the standard computers has a two-dimensional envir environment, a 2D mouse, a 2D monitor. And with Leonardo, we can turn this into a full virtual reality environment. So uh, we got a 3D mouse. It's uh, called Bird. And we have uh, 3D glasses. And uh, like that, you can uh, see in the space and immediately interact uh, with this uh, 3D vision in the space. My name is Josh Weinstein. I'm the founder of Good Crush. Good Crush currently runs goodcrush.com. Uh, it's a flagship website. It's a social dating site for college students. And we also operate randomdorm.com. Randomdorm.com is essentially chat roulette, but for college students. So Good Crush started out as the crush finder. You put in your name, you put in your email address, and you do the same for up to five crushes right here, and you submit them anonymously. And then they go onto the site and they do the same. If there's a match, we let both people know. And we actually started at Princeton where I went to school. And uh, we got 30% of the student body in 24 hours, two years in a row. And we thought that we were onto something. And so as you can see, we currently have about uh, 28,000 crushes sent uh, at a variety of different schools.